Hey, what's going on? I'm Matt O'Leary back with another video and today we'll be looking at some Morgan Moses film and just what he can do in the run game. So excited to talk about Moses. So excited that he was officially announced today by the New York Jets and it's kind of easy to see why they want him. Uh, and we're going to take a look at some examples. I have clips from, I guess, technically four games, but his three best regular season games, a couple of clips from week one against the Eagles then week three, I believe, either three or four against Cleveland, week 16 against the Panthers, and then I have one play from the playoff game that the Washington football team played against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So without further ado, let's get this thing started. You're looking at number 76, the right tackle is Morgan Moses. So first play is from week one right here. And to me, this play shows why he's going to be a good fit in this offense. Uh, we could back it up a little bit here slightly. So the Jets are going to run to the outside a lot. And Michael Carter specifically is, well, fit for that. So is Tevin Coleman when healthy and Ty Johnson as well. So they're going to hit the outside a lot. And to me, this play shows that he's athletic enough to get to the outside and create space for his back. I mean, that's all he's doing on this play. He's pulling out to the right. Sets up a hole, and it's a big gain for the running back right there. Now, this next play is down on the goal line, and look what he does to Fletcher Cox on this play, one of the better defensive tackles in football. Watch this. Creates a hole, a big-time hole, and a touchdown right there for the running back for Washington. This end zone angle shows it better. You're going to see Fletcher shift over to the left right there. I'll pause for a second here. And this is one of the best defensive tackles in football. And he, he wins this battle, clearly. Watch this play. Sets up a huge hole. You could drive a truck through that hole and into the end zone. Really good play from Morgan Moses right there. All right, so let's get to the Cleveland game. Um I have nine clips that I'm going to show you. I don't want it to be a super long video. I just wanted it to be enough to where I could show you uh, examples of him in the run game and what he can do. Um, and this is another one of him, you know, really just getting to the second level uh, and blocking, which is, you know, going to be important for him in this offense. It's better view from the end zone view. We'll really set it up. He's patient on this play. And he's able to get to the second level. Hang on, I'll pause it when he man in motion tight end from left to right a pause right here he's patient and then he just gets to the second level takes out a linebacker and creates a big time hole and it's a nice gain for the running back able to sneak through that hole good play now this next one is also an example of moses getting to the second level and picking up a linebacker he lets the first linebacker run past him because he knows it's gonna over. He's gonna over pursue, and the running back. This is a designed play for him to cut back upfield, which is what happens here. The is a tight end in motion. Yeah, he's gonna set the edge right there, and the running back cuts upfield. And Moses lets that first linebacker go past him, picks up the second linebacker, and now you have a nice little gain here for your running back. Good work. Okay, in the Panthers game, we're going to see him create some nice holes for his running back. First one right here, looking end zone view on the right on the left side of your screen, right tackle. And just continues to stay in the play, get to the next level and, you know, create a bigger hole, which is good. We like this. Same kind of thing here on this next one. Big time hole. And he moves over. Going inside. And then the running back, or that might be a receiver, actually. That might be 84. It's tough for me to tell uh, the number right here. Um, he's able to set a nice edge for him to cut up field and get a nice little gain here. Later in the game now, this is another just solid run blocking play. Let's watch together. Huge hole. Look at him go from right to left. He's quick, off the ball, catches the defender, off 
balance. Or, well, he's cutting in and just gets a good angle on him, pushes him. That's a gigantic hole for the running back. You're going to take that every day of the week. And then the last play that I have for you is a playoff game. Now, this would set up a touchdown. The next play would be a touchdown. But watch 76 and what he does to 93 on Tampa Bay. 93 is in Dominican Sioux. One of the best defensive tackles in football has been for a long time. Just completely outworks him. I mean, just that's a dominant performance against a really, really good player for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the future Super Bowl champion Tampa Bay Buccaneers at this point. Uh, really impressive stuff. The Jets are going to love him in the run game. He's absolutely an upgrade over George Fant. One of the best run blockers in football, and we were able to see why. I just kind of wanted to show you some examples. Again, not a huge film guy, uh, but like to use it from time to time in, in showing examples of what I'm what I'm talking about. I'm not necessarily gonna, you know, break down tons of film, but just want, again, just wanted to show you an example. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Are you excited about Morgan Moses? Please let me know in the comments down below or on social media. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'll talk to you next time.